What's up, everybody? This is Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell. I am the innovator, the emancipator, the originator, Jesse Mitchell. What's up everybody, welcome to Straight No Chase with Jesse Mitchell I am the innovator, the emancipator, the originator, Jesse Mitchell As always next to me, the beautiful Miss Angel B Yeah, yeah, yeah My homeboy from the 2-6, back from 11, 12 years old Boogie Bands. Hey. I call him L Boogie. Son of Cartel Bands <laughs> in the building. Hold on, hold on. And the beautiful, very beautiful. Yes. Ooh, man. Hot like fish grease. <laughs> Miss Lex. What's up? Rap extraordinaire. <laughs> She's been hot fire. Up? So today on the show, we're gonna get into a few different topics. But first off, we're gonna start with Miss Lex and let her see what she got going on now. She's a rapper, she models, she was telling me some other things. I don't know what she'd do. She's so bad, less she can do it all to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I read a sign half my check over to her now. You know what I'm saying? But, wait, you know, that's, a, that's, for, that's for later to end the show. We're going to discuss that. But anyway, so Miss Lex, what you got going on? What's up with you? Well, honestly, um, I just started rapping in okay. April. New to the rap. Yeah, April. April this I, I year. Know, it fresh. was It was a accident that happened on purpose. Literally, me and my producer was sitting in my room. Well, he's my cousin, but now he's my producer. We were sitting in my room, and I, I put one of my friends on him because they was looking for a studio to record at. So I put him on him, and it, we in the room. So he was already producing and had his own studio already. He's been producing already. years, like over Has he done years. anything we should know of? Or just not doing that, his own, just honing his craft, doing his thing? Okay. I yeah, he, he did a couple artists down here I'm not gonna say their names but okay well, he, yeah, did, good. No, he did a couple copyrights and stuff I yeah, yeah he did a couple artists down here I know how the game works <laughs> and we were just in my room and I was like you know what you know I might could spit a little something something okay. and I was just playing I was playing and he he texted me the next day he was like I thought what you said last night and we really should do it and I'm like he saw something in you mm-hmm. he, he the one that started it so he was like write four bars see how you sound I'm like what is four bars <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't a little know. It, a little Girl, I don't know it, anything about music. <laughs> Never thought I would be in a rapper doing music. Nothing. I used to write poems with my oh, mom okay. as a kid. See, yes, I, I used to write poetry too. So you so, can write. <laughs> so he gave me four bars. Actually, I have it in one of my songs. It's not out yet though, but it's called. Don't doubt the skills. No. But um, I actually wrote two songs that day. I went to the studio that night, and mm-hmm. it was nerve wracking. Even though it was just me and him. Like, just being behind the mic, which is nerve-wracking. But just, like, hearing myself talk, I actually thought my voice was, like, a little bit deeper. Mm. I don't know why, but it sounds like that coming out my ears. But I actually have a really light voice when mm. I'm rapping. Um, that's how that came about. Oh, okay, okay. Amazing, amazing. So, it was... And mm. then when I had did um, Run My Bag Up, actually, when I put that song out, it wasn't mixed or mastered it. I just recorded it and dropped it. Oh, should hit run my bag up? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. I recorded okay. it, dropped it. Just to what see they, how. Where can they find that at? Everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, okay, okay. Tidal, um, everywhere. Pandora, Shazam, okay. everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. You got your own channel on Pandora? Uh, I believe, yeah, I have to because it pops up on my streaming data. Okay, that's what's up. So All right, has, up top. <laughs> All right. It has to be on there. Um, so once I, once I see how everybody was like really rocking with the song and the feedback I was getting, like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this for real. So I actually re-recorded that song three times. So I re-recorded it and then I had got it mixed, mixed and mastered and then re-released it in June. I think mm. it was June, June something I had put it back out. So, I was like, when I wrote that song, um, honestly, I was in my living room, and I was like, I want a song people could dance to. Like, people might not like it, some they might be mediocre or cliche, what I say, whatever, but that's I feel like, now. yeah, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I love it, and that's pretty much, like, I love it, so I feel like it was good enough to put out, and that's pretty much what I've been promoting so far. Okay. Hey. I shot my video two weeks ago, so I should get the video tomorrow or Sunday. He said the weekend, mm. and then I'm gonna be releasing it next week. Okay, okay. That's gonna be on released on all your platforms. Mm-hmm. With a video, I'm gonna have I don't it on know YouTube. what the video gonna be on YouTube. Your it's YouTube channel. It's gonna be channel. on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. And what's your YouTube channel? How people can find that? My YouTube. What is my YouTube? 
Oh, see, she's, she's not prepared. I didn't had, I didn't had, because I had to recreate another one. Oh, okay. I forgot my password to the one I originally had. Oh, yeah, that'll so. get you. <laughs> that'll get recreate, you. Over I had to recreate another one. Um, but my YouTube name is just L E X L period E period X period. Is what okay. my YouTube name okay. is. And if you put in the song Run My Bag Up, it'll pop up. Run My Bag Up. Okay. Run My Bag right, Up. Check that out. Run My Bag Up. Run my bag up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Let me get the popping up okay. in here. Hey. Okay, so we're going to get the jamming now. Okay. What's up? Well, Boogie, what you got going on, brother? Talk to me. I know you're you in the rap game, too. You're doing your thing. Talk to me. What's yeah, good? Yeah, I just actually dropped a video by a new video, uh, Terrific Trapper. That's what the show's okay, okay, yeah, you know, you can't, you can't get into and bless me. You know, I got mine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Where can I get these at? You selling these? Are they, uh, they available? Right now, Purchase? What Instagram, we doing? you know, and still in the gram. Street, You know, I'm married with them jumps. Okay, we got the trunk, baby. Yeah. We like P, baby. We ain't changed. We got the trunk, baby. Okay, Shout out uh, Master uh, P. Yeah, the website on on process of getting built right now though. Okay, but, okay. You know what I'm saying? So who do you who you got who you got doing the website for you? Uh, actually, you got people working on it or are you doing it yourself? Trying to nah, I ain't even computer savvy, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean I, I mean it depends on what type of website you want, you know what I'm saying? But I, I created my own for my business. I did fact, it myself fact. at three in the morning on weeks. I use Wix. Three in the morning. I created my joint. For my consultant illusions consulting. If you need your VA disability or you wanna learn Investing in the stock market, or if you want to learn basketball, we, we consult and teach it all, baby. Definitely. All at me, Illusion Consulting. Definitely. But yeah, so I created my website, IllusionConsulting.net, three in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Right there on Wix, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm trying to get somebody to build it where it's, you know, like a one stop shop for them to be able to get my clothes and view music. my music. And the music, okay, yeah. okay, okay. okay. And, you know, I got, got a couple of other done. artists I'm working with. The, Cause I got travel till I have clothing and travel till I have entertainment. So okay, got a couple. Of oh, you got art. You got, got artists. You got science. Okay, it. okay. You yeah. see, I was like, my bad. No yeah. disrespect. I see you. the chain say CEO. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> my bad. Yeah, man, okay, know. how many artists you got? I got one artist actually. One artist right now that I'm working with. You know, okay. Uh, you know, loyalty ain't you know. Ain't so, Boy, ain't, you, you tell it. Too much. Who you tell? So are you looking for new artists? Are you I'm focusing on your own music right now? Focusing on my music, but. You know what I'm saying? For all the serious... You're always looking for talent, really, though. Yeah, yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Good talent anyway. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I, yeah. I definitely ain't going to be doing it for Well, well we That's in 2-6. The they claim it's so much talent. I hear every day. Every time I'm in rappers, it is. Yeah. 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 It is. I didn't realize that until I, um, I started doing music and they was hitting me up. The thing is, they don't have the following... Or the platform, so you would never. Why is You would never but, know it. I, I, the honestly, support system here ain't as big yeah. as other cities. Right, but know? also you have to um, not forget that it takes finances to do music. Yeah, yeah, big. So fact. with that being said, if you don't have big really fact. have the fine, you can have the talent, but if you don't got the funds you, behind it, you gotta have some money. It's kind of like finances do everything. It's, it's, cheap. it's you know not cheap. It's, it's not money cheap. If your money's funny and credit won't get it, you won't be doing nothing. But I would like to say to you, you're definitely an entrepreneur at heart. Just the fact that, you know, not only are you focused on your own music, but you're willing to, you know, pour out Delicious. and, you know, invest into different artists. That is major and that is big. So yeah. definitely kudos to you. Keep going. And w even with the beautiful ex, like, you know, she's basically funding herself. Like, she's not, you know, so that's amazing, too. You know, Girl. you guys keep going. Yeah, that's what you ain't doing until you can do something to help somebody hey. else out. Yeah, that's, that's right. when you made it. When you can elevate yeah. some other people, that's when you made it. Mm. <laughs> So that's what they say You know what I mean I'm trying to get there too y'all I'm struggling myself I ain't got no team behind me either It's just me I ain't got no team behind me But I'm pushing still Hey I'm pushing I'm building the team I'm gonna build the team around me Fact Fact I ain't got them behind me I'm gonna build them around me Right I love that I love that I ain't gonna have them I love that Oh yeah I ain't gonna have them around me What you say I ain't gonna have them I don't have to have them behind me I'm gonna build them around me I love that I love mm, that. <laughs> well, you gotta put that on a t shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, well, yeah. copyrights yeah. might have to come through on that, baby. Yeah. 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 Copyrights yeah. might have to come through on that. Yeah. 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 They don't call me the innovator, <laughs> emancipator, originator for nothing. Okay. Okay, on a huh? First topic we're gonna get to today, though, since we get everybody out the way now, I got everybody talking what they got going. I've been wanting to talk about this a little, a little bit because I've been seeing online all week, everybody's been very opinionated. About this, definitely the baby and these damn kids. <laughs> now, the damn kids. now, and this damn candy. Now, if you're not familiar <laughs> with it, apparently the rapper the baby. Uh, I like the baby. Shout out to the baby. Yes. I like his music. You know what I mean? I play it a lot. Uh, was traveling. I don't know exactly where he was located at, what city he was in, or whatever. But it was some kids who was selling some candy. So, you know, he approached the kids. He wanted to buy some candy. I'm going to show some love. You know what I mean? You know, my parents fuck rock with me. So, I'm going to show some love. So, he asked the kids, you know, how much is the candy? So, he, he wanted to buy the whole box. So, the kids told him 200 for the box. 
Now, I don't know what kind of candy this is. I don't know if it makes you do some kind of special Edible. things. Okay. It better be. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if uh, it gets you high. I don't know if this is some kind of uh, some kind of narcotic product. I don't know. I don't know. But I ain't never seen no candy that cost two hundred dollars for no damn box. Okay. So the baby asked him. He said, "Well, how much are you selling them for individually?" The guy tells him two dollars a piece. Now it's thirty of them in the box. Man, well. <laughs> so the baby's like, oh, you may have off, homie. Like, you know what I'm saying? So because they did that, he in turn only brought one for four dollars, I believe, and left. So a lot of people say he's lame for that and but you try to finesse and cheat me and I'm trying to donate help for you help you. Facts, facts. I ain't had to yeah. stop. Didn't have to. Facts. I stopped and say, Well, I'm gonna buy the whole box. I ain't even gonna buy one. And, and you're gonna try to charge right. anything. And you're gonna right. try to charge me a hundred and forty fucking dollars. Right. Be really <laughs> not ten dollars, not twenty dollars, any uh, it, at all, a hundred and forty fucking dollars extra. Then you, when I go get this damn candy for some for free, <laughs> off of fucking twenty dollars. Facts. Yeah. More so Should have gave him a chance to give him some extra right, instead of right. trying to cheat the man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, and and I, I, think, I think most of the time yeah, it's better. a stereotype, you know? Like, a lot of people think, well, you know, they're rich or they're wealthy, so yeah. they're just going to give. Expect, but honestly, you got to realize, like, okay, he the baby, but you don't know what it's taking for him to be him. He the baby. You don't know what kind of, you know, you. exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, the more money you make, the, what they say, the, the more, more you problems got, you got. You got to spend mm-hmm. So you it's kind of like, you know, you can't just automatically think that, you, you sh- first of all, be appreciative at the fact that I stopped. And where exactly. the fuck these parents at? Because, goddamn. <laughs> like, I, like I say, I, I believe it was a video. I didn't actually see the video. I just see everybody oh, yeah. kept posting about it and kept talking about it. And yeah, so I looked up, I looked up the actual uh, article or whatever they wrote about it or whatever people that wrote about it. Probably it. I read one it. of his songs. That's how I got the facts, <laughs> but I didn't see the video. But it so, is. He gonna make it into a song. Yeah, I'm sure, no, but I'm like, sure, yeah. I don't see how anybody can side with me. You try to cheat me, like literally. <laughs> I stopped to help you and you tried to cheat me. Mm-hmm. But that's how motherfuckers do it. So motherfuckers don't see no problem they with that. Down. They they but, down. Well, motherfuckers do shit like that anyway. Yeah. They selves. So they're yeah. not going to see no problem with it. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers mm-hmm. help them. They don't give them their ass to kiss now. And I help them you out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, I mean, you ain't have to buy but, no candy from them at all. Right. I ain't got to stop. I could have bought the right. store on the block and, you know, the whole store. Been the distributor. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. It's like you know what I mean. So, but I don't. You know. live and you learn. Definitely an opportunity for them to understand that you cannot get over on anybody. I feel like yeah. he taught him a lesson. Yeah, that's why. If I anything, like you know what I'm saying. He's cool. I'm like, look, yeah, yeah. You we need to highlight that. Right? You try to cheat me. I was gonna do that, yeah, but now you try to yeah. cheat me. So now you are gonna get nothing. He could have yeah. pulled a whole stack out. Like, you know what? Here you go for being honest. Lies don't get you nowhere, children. Yeah. Tell the truth. This is true. <laughs> he, he learned a lesson in life, ran into the baby. Hey, that's something he can live <laughs> with. He ain't gonna forget that. He ain't gonna forget that. Nah, nah, he hell no. Joke about one pack of candy from him. They gonna tell everybody that, yeah. But they gonna tell him about, but they gonna tell about how he tried to cheat him. Try to cheat him. They gonna tell him about how man, the baby only brought one piece of candy from me. That mother ain't shit. When you get older, you know what show you gonna tell your side of the story. Yeah, he ain't gonna tell the whole thing. Nah, let you try to cheat the man. I'm charging 140 fucking dollars. You ain't gonna say nothing about that, now. Yeah, crazy man. Next up, we're going to talk about this uh, Lil Dirk here, Lil Dirk and India situation. Yes, I love Now, that. shout out Lil Dirk and India. We're glad, I'm glad y'all safe. Go Apparently, on. reported by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give y'all the, I like to give y'all exact here. We like to give you the exact. The I don't, like don't want to be no paraphrased or nothing. I want to give you exact. Yeah, you know how we do it here. Straight. Don't you see the shirts, baby? Apparel's available. Yes. Hit us up. According to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, though, several individuals allegedly tried to break into Dirk's home Monday morning and were met with gunfire as both Dirk and India holding your man down. Shout out to Tammy Wynette. Stand by your man. Okay. <laughs> Discharged their firearms at the suspects. The suspects shot several rounds before they fled the scene. No one was injured. Now... <laughs> Couple things there. We glad it, we don't want nobody to be hurt. You know, straight no choice. Right. Want everybody to be exactly. safe. Exactly. Thank God. So don't don't. I don't want to take this. Just be taken out of context. Great. <laughs> because you know we glad everything's all right. But but damn, ain't nobody been to the range. Ain't nobody like. Oh, yes. What's happening here? How's everybody shooting in the damn house and ain't nobody here? <laughs> nobody here. Like, nobody what, here. what the fuck is but happening? You know like, what? I'm just glad that, you know. Ain't nobody been to the range? You, you gotta think about it. You know, Pop Smoke was murdered damn, in his own home. Right. So, you know. Not even I'm, a I'm just, shot? Bye. Right now. It's fool. 
I'm just grateful that nothing. nobody got killed. Right. Absolutely. Like I said, we don't want nobody. Okay. We're glad everybody's safe. You don't you don't but, want for nobody to hurt. But I say, you know what I'm saying? Me, personally, you know what I'm saying? I wish one of them rats with that one in there got shot because you got no business going to nobody. Else. Absolutely. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got no business having your ass up like, in the first place. You know Go ahead and get your own goddamn money. That man worked for his money. Where is security? Huh? Tony went in there? You know what what I'm they give you me the time. I don't have security while they sleeping at the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, they in the crib. What you mean? They probably got a security system yeah. and shit, but they in the house now. So, actual security at the crib. I would. If yeah, I was, yeah, was sleeping Because I mean too many it, We in a different nah, time I don't say people, the, I don't say the time People is yeah. bold They run up in you your see shit see where they yeah. broke yeah. Um, Who was that? Shaq baby mama Shawnee Shawnee house They broke into Shawnee house That she, was a while ago though, right? Yeah, remember she yeah, ended yeah. up moving to a gated community Uh huh Mm-hmm that's crazy. People don't give a damn. Was it Rihanna? Was it Rihanna that broke into too a while ago? Was it Rihanna? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I just say live that shit you rap about. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It was a video though of like. Just well, apparently he didn't live with Rack Bob because they started busting. <laughs> <laughs> he was shooting. Now. He wasn't like he was. He wasn't like he was scared. He was a whole yeah. like he was yeah. letting it. But I'm just like. That's cool. I understand y'all got heart, but damn, go to the range and get some training. Like understand, right. like so you learn how to shoot. Like you know what I'm saying. Like, oh, at least, somebody. like, okay. how big is this house? It's like, is this, 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 <laughs> I understand y'all got that paper, but I'm like, damn, this is this must be a big house. Yeah, them rappers might be, you know, they might have been busting and running, too, though. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? So, yeah, that makes sense. Good. So that, that might be why nobody got hit. Look, I'm going to shoot at any and everything. You know what I'm saying? They <laughs> but yeah, you know, but. going to stand there, boom, 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 especially yeah. they don't know how to shoot. But damn, nobody hit nobody. Because they might have hey, been trying to catch I'd rather nobody hit nobody than oh, well, 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 First of all, first of all, if they brought guns, they can't catch them by surprise. Because yeah. when you do, when people do home invasions, if they bring, they're not gonna bring a weapon. They don't come for that when they do home invasions. They came to rob the house. Yeah. So anytime anybody bring a weapon, they came. They they, they, they plan for somebody to be in there. Yeah. And to encounter somebody. So that means they want to either hold them hostage and have them take them where whatever they're looking for is, yeah. or they plan on doing harm to this person. <laughs> but right. most people that oh, do that when they do burglaries, they don't bring no weapon because they yeah. don't want that charge. From yeah. what? That's automatic murder charge or whatever. And if you do midnight murder, that's automatic life. I mean, yeah. after, after a certain time, you get really? breaking some. Yeah, Girl, you, you, bring you better not in there. Break it, break it with somebody home at like after like yeah, nine or ten o'clock. It's like midnight murder, some kind of charge. You get all mad like life or some shit. Yeah, uh, hell yeah. But you know what? It's a little dirt house. I mean, ain't like it's somebody How random. Get the address mean, anyway. Like. That's the thing. I mean, that's that's the know, issue. People they like be putting hit out. They like to have people over. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed, but people you ain't supposed to show them addresses yeah, and stuff. You ain't supposed to do that, man. But everybody don't understand that. Else. Understand that. Right. Yeah, well, well, well you supposed to, but you supposed to know though. You you come I mean, to my house. You ain't supposed, supposed to show my house my address on your video. You are not supposed to do that. Like these little cats don't don't live by that. Do you you don't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They invite everybody they, they to the house. They rather have clout and loyalty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't loyal. You know what I'm saying? You might bring your homeboy to the house and. He telling homeboy where you stay at. Yep. You, know you get mad at me you now. You mm. now you telling me you yeah. got to live. So you just, you just never. Hey, you got to move safe out here, people. You know, y'all want you to be safe now. Gotta be careful. You know. Well, yeah, like we said, we glad Dirk and Andy, y'all safe. Yes. You know what I mean? We love goals. Couple but go goals. to the range, please. <laughs> please go to the range. Just get just, just, just you got the money. Y'all got the time. Just a couple of days out the week. Just go to the range. Okay. Get some targets, some shots. Because next time, you know what I mean. You might not know it. it might, you know what I mean? You want to make sure you hit hit somebody. At least yeah. let them know. Don't come back up in here. I got something yeah. for you. But, you know, hey, shout out. We glad y'all safe, yes. you know. And off that tip, we're going to take a break from our sponsors. Oh, my God. This is the best cookie I've ever had, yo. Girl, you must be crazy. Oh, my. That's actually the name of the company. Crazy Cookies. Try one. It's good, right? Man, <laughs> I'm t- hey, I don't know what you've been doing or how you've been living, but if you ain't had one of these crazy cookies, you ain't been living right. Ask straight, no chase. Delicious. <laughs> this episode of Straight No Chase was sponsored in part by Crazy Cookies. To get your crazy cookies, dial 910-747-4148 or email us at crazycookies910 at gmail.com. Welcome back, everyone. Straight, no chase. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about the situation that happened in the D, Detroit. Shout out to the D. Shout out to the D, D, D. Crazy stuff going on out there. I don't know what they got going on out there now. So this lady, she's this girl, young girl, beautiful sister, too. Shout out to her. <coughs> she got her own boutique and stuff downtown. She got a little shop. I guess she sells clothes and stuff. So apparently, uh, this young kid, a young brother, too, <laughs> stole a car. Her Check Mercedes. Her yeah, stole a car from brother. Her. Huh? Her younger brother? What? A brother. A, a, black, brother. a black dude. A black dude. A black dude. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Young black male steals her car. So, uh, 
She tracks the car down for two days. Using social media. I guess a lot of people know around town. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Using social media and different stuff to track the car down. Finally finds the dude. Right? He at the barbershop getting his hair cut. Getting his hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> so he got like his hair in the car. He went and got the car detailed. Got hey, we you got a detail. The car. Hey, we got a detail. Hold on, hold on, now we gonna get, we gonna get to hold on. Now, this in the D now. Uh, this in Detroit. I want y'all to check it out. We got, we, you know, we always have footage here. Straight no chase for you now. So we got the footage. Matter of fact, let's go to the video tape. <laughs> it's gonna trip y'all out. And Shorty was about that action too. She jumped on his ass too. <laughs> she oh, yeah. should have. She what? Has. She hopped on that motherfucker's ass. Traffic stolen Mercedes Benz all over Detroit. On day three, she decided mm -hmm. to take matters into her Mercedes. own hands. That she did. She confronted the thief. Hey, all my sh At that point, oh, I was no, just like, did. I'm not letting this man walk again. Bianca face to face so with the guy yeah. she says stole okay. her brand new Benz. Excuse me, you got that Benz out there? Okay. It went oh, yeah, down Wednesday at a barber Ooh. shop at Greenfield. Yeah, and I'm pretty good. He had seven <laughs> days west. Got own shop. Getting his dress twisted. That's on the phone with the cops. Or whoever Look at my car. Yeah, Customer in park. stepped in making a citizen's arrest. Then Bianca slashed her own tires. I slashed all the tires and I thought that he was going to take what? off and I didn't yeah, know how long it was going to uh, take. I guess we still And I was sure to let him more. pull off again. Oh, I know, that's there right. Until Detroit police came. Beautiful. You will never steal from me again. Detroit police say officers responded four times to Bianca's 911 calls as she tracked the car using a web of social media tips. She had to put but it on. Yeah, there, she the car it. was gone. People was helping out. I guess she, I guess oh she know a lot of people. Yo, yeah. I see my car. The thief so bold, he even made a pit stop at the strip and mall where Bianca owns a boutique. Nah, but what she, well, they was driving, nah, where she you know, they was having a good time. Yeah, you know, they was smoking, she got a lot but of yes, my car was very clean. He even got the detail. car detailed. Sources <laughs> tell Fox 2 the thief, now in police yeah, custody, got has a drink. history of stealing cars. <laughs> he looked <laughs> <looking. laughs> at the She said, that was criminal, that's all. Like, Dumb you're a joyrider in my car. Like, what nobody going to see you? Reporting. Well, I don't know if she put a balloon or not, but she's a pretty girl. Ain't nobody for him jump on her in the barbershop. And once she announced you stole her car, yeah, all them dudes never jump on him. Yeah. She pretty. They ain't for let him do nothing to her. She crazy. I got my shit. Yeah. And you stealing her shit. Yeah, she got every right to slap you up in here. Okay. And everybody, every dude in that barbershop probably was like, yeah, you better do that. That was, I was, I didn't hear it. I bet she probably had that shit running. You know so? people go to the gas station, have their car running, and go inside and, and get something. Well, depending on what the push start, well, she, See, well, how is he starting after that, though? Right, you That's right. the thing. Right. If, she, if, she, if he ain't got the fob, how is he starting after that with the push start? She the keys in there. Because yeah. if I leave my, if both of my cars, if I leave my cars running and I take my keys and lock it, you ain't going nowhere. Well, I'm a hood, mm -hmm. nigga. I ain't, I mean, excuse mm -hmm. me, my friend. <laughs> I'm, I'm hood. I ain't leaving my car running. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna take. But them new cars, you can lock them. Why yeah. yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, they can be right. running. So like, I can lock my door. Yeah, like my 300. I can lock it, but if, like if the keys in it, it won't even lock at all. I know that. Oh yeah. Still in your car. So you know what I'm saying? Damn. You know where? You know we from? They, they, they yeah, think that shit. Well, shout out to her because she got her car back and she handled that shit. Like, what? Like a real. And she wasn't bullshit. She went in there and got her car. And shout out to everybody that helped her track that car down. That's crazy. She have a tracker. It's a tracker on my on my Camaro and my Charger. It's a tracker on both of my cars. Mm. I need to put All a tracker right. on my right. right. Apparently, we, need, we, we lack it. We need to get some trackers, okay. apparently. We need to get some trackers. <laughs> 2021. Uh, That's the reason the tracker going to be on it. Well, apparently, she didn't need the tracker. She, she tracked them down in two days. Exactly. And she did her thing. But she put the work in. And That's what I love. Like, Because, you know, nine times out of ten, like a lot of times when we call law enforcement, they don't really respond the way we need them to respond. They came and got him that day, look like. Yeah. These shows getting put in the back of the car. Get his ass whooped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who they say on Friday put a plunger in his hand? After they, after, they, after they cleaned up the shop floor with his hair. <laughs> <laughs> they drug him all across the shop floor. <laughs> mopped the, he got all the mopped hair. everything on the floor with his hair. You know he got a strawberry. Y'all alone is behind when he was dragging him out of the And he's sitting there looking like a fool. Looking like a damn idiot. <laughs> he know what to do. Well, I remember when I got, uh, I got chased around Atlanta. Chased around I, Atlanta. I was scared as hell. By who? It was years ago. So he was throwing that I out there randomly. By who? Because we talk, okay. like I just. Okay. It was by a white dude at that. At the time, my mm. my license plate was customized, so it had my name on it. So you know, I'm a female, mm -hmm. and I had a Kia Optima at the time, a female car. And um, I'm coming off the... Guys, we're driving the key out. But she just said you're driving a female <laughs> car. I think she slide that in. <laughs> but go ahead. I'm coming off the freeway. You know how the lanes merge? So, like, my lane is ending. Buddy would not let me in. So, mm. I made my way in. 
So he literally followed me around Atlanta for like 15 minutes. I'm scared as fuck, as fuck cause I didn't know. Like I don't live in Atlanta, so I'm calling the cops. Yes. They're like, "Where you at?" I'm like, "I don't, I don't know. know. I'm, right. I'm going off Trade GPS. Me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm passing red lights, running stop signs, doing quick. He on you. He's he's right behind me. Like oh he got God. so close to me at stoplights where no one can even get between me. And I and I looked in the mirror because I'm recorded the whole time. Like, why this man following me? So the, yeah. finally the cops end up catching up. This man gonna say I hit him. You hit him. And I'm like, no, he got mad and followed me because of road rage because I cut him off Thanks. and got in front of him. That was some that was some scary shit. <laughs> I'm glad you said you brought that up because that's another thing that trips me tripping me out. Now, this is what I don't understand. Maybe y'all can help me. Have a brother I understand. Now we're in traffic. We're riding. Right. We're going along. Now, granted, it's your, it's your car. You can drive fast as you want to drive. Facts. Hey, if you don't want to speed up, that's fine. But I'm behind you in traffic, right? So you see, I want to go. You don't want to go though. Okay. So I say, okay, forget it. We in a, we're on the one lane now. Say we're on the one lane. So I say, okay, you don't want to drive. So I ain't going to blow my horn. I ain't going to ride you. I'm just going to go around you. <laughs> right. I'm just going to go around you. Why at that point do people still get... Yeah, first of all... They, 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 because they, they want to be in control. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They want to be in control. Why are you... First of all, they get mad. Yep. Then they try to speed up and race you. <laughs> then you, if you get in front of them, they'll cuss and be flipping like, I don't understand. How can I win here? Uh, <laughs> right. I don't know. I, Obviously, I'm just trying to get where I got to go. That's all I want to do. I, I don't want no problem with that you. That happened in Charlotte. We going to... It was last weekend. We going to Charlotte. We on two lane. Going on a highway to like seven. So, I think we have my charger. We in a car... Buddy had a little Toyota Corolla. And I'm like, why the fuck is he going so slow? So, boom, boom, got around him. He stuck his middle finger out. <laughs> I, like, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. You gotta blow the horn at somebody. I don't get it. Girl, they make you to blow the horn. Well, okay. I, that, I understand people, you blowing the horn at him, okay? You need to go when you like, irritate like, me right. or whatever. You're trying to blow the horn at me. 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 I understand people might be feeling that. But I haven't done anything to you. I tried to go. You didn't want to go. So I just went around you. And you, and you still try, mad, cussing at me and, and racing. You know what? Why? It goes back to that incident that happened, I think, in Lumberton. I never understood that. Or on the highway. That man um, oh, they, shot that lady. Shot and hit the yeah. baby. Yeah, and no, killed the lady. No, nah, no, no, no. It no, was no. another one where it was he was shot in the lady. car and killed the baby. Yeah, it was an elderly lady. Her husband, they cut the eye off. And they say the guy just drove up and shot and just shot her for no reason. But, I mean... I don't. I wasn't there, but I'm pretty sure it was some words exchanged. Right, right. Because right. usually in traffic, you know. Y'all see that movie? Whatever, whatever. He took it. How he took it? He let. He let loose. Yeah. yeah. Y'all see that movie? Just be Unhinged. careful driving people. Unhinged. Uh huh. About ra- about road rage. I seen it. You seen it? Yeah. yeah. I- <laughs> Have I seen it? Oh, was I about around, to watch? It? Followed them around. Followed them around. Was yeah. killing her, like her friends. I've her seen brother. it. I- I- Unhinged. What? Yeah. So he. I ain't looking about to watch it. Who in it? Who in it? I don't even I don't know the actors. Y'all don't know who in it. It's not him. But the joint was good. It yeah. was. Him, like, he had, he had already killed his previous family earlier, and then he, so he was in a really bad mood, and the lady, like, what, she beeped the horn? I might be watching. She beeped the horn, went around, the around him. Around and went yeah, around so he, like, apologized, and she, like, I ain't apologizing. Didn't but even took, know her life was on the line. Girl. I, mean, just, I almost I ain't gonna lie, through, I almost had a little incident today. He crazy mess through that whole joint. Man. And when she finally got through it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Did she somebody like it? almost hit her and cut off. And she was about to blow the horn, but she was like, I bet you won't be the horn. Again. Again. You know, you know I mean? almost had an incident today, for real. Uh, y'all know how busy Riley Road is, all the cameras over there, so you can't run the lights, you're gonna get a ticket. Cool. Mm. Tell yeah. me why traffic is going. I'm going, I'm heading towards Cliffdale from Riley Road, Bonanza, Morgan, whatever. Police has got the whole strip blocked off, but mind you, it ain't no sign up. So it's looking like, you know, everybody's just going slow right here, so I'm finna get over it and go. Mm-hmm. Police is lying all the way up right here. No sign, no nothing, road closed, none of that. No police out. I almost crashed into a police car. I'm telling these fools to let me over. And they just they they, would they, not. They not let okay. me. I said, bet. I'm going to way in. Okay. I put it in sport mode, went right around them, and passed every single one of them. It was, yeah. Baby, what you thought? You know what kind of car I'm driving? Huh. Girl, what? <laughs> I just, Sports like I said, I just never understood it. People is so mean nowadays. That's but what come down speaking to. of unhinged, that brings me to our next subject. My brother Richard Sherman. Yeah. I don't know what Sherman got going on. You know, they said, I don't know if it's, he's having a mental issue, if he was drinking or what, you know. But, you know, hey, we're not going to laugh at that because mental illness, you know, is serious in the community, you know what I mean? And, you know, people need help. You get the help you need, you know what I mean, brother? Shout out to you, brother. You know, we behind you still, you know. But, you know, stuff happened. So, apparently, there was an issue with him and his wife where she took the kids and was at his in-law's house. 
and apparently Richard wanted to get in. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> we got some footage for you. We'll go to the videotape and uh, we'll discuss it the other day. Oh, yeah, he's trying to get in a little bit. Just a little bit. No? A lot. He'll be hurt, be hurt in the morning. He's strong. Uh, okay. and apparently, that door's stronger. And apparently her dad maced him and said he had his gun ready for him, too, at the time. So. What, she, what, what was he trying to get in there like that for? Like, uh, what was I get They were saying that... Uh, I guess they, it was something about they wouldn't let him see the kid. So You know people going to go hard about their kids. I, I, I think him and the wife got into it. And she left and went to the parents' house. And he was trying to And he's like, nah, y'all need to come back. At least uh, we're giving my kids type thing. You know how it go when they do that. Come back. Oh, my kids but your ass want to go, go goddamn it. You yeah. can go, but bring my kids but, home. But I feel like he was provoked. You know? He might have been provoked. Because, I mean, a lot of times, you know, people, Absolutely. people love. What do you mean he was provoked? People, people love showing footage of. Whatever, they love giving uh, a halfway story. No, tell yeah. me the whole thing. Of course. Thing. Whatever the situation that happened at the house, whatever happened before she got there what is got, what made that happen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the dad, he's trying to protect his daughter. And he like, you know, Richard leave, you know what I'm saying? Richard trying to bust in, you know what I'm saying? He like, all right, motherfucker, I'm going to mace you. I got my strap. You know, he trying to de-escalate it against himself. But, you know, hell, you here. So you in the middle. You at my house. I can't let him jump on you. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, but they say he was drunk. You know what I mean? They, he ended up getting arrested. He did look but, a little tipsy. Of course. You know what I mean? He ended up getting arrested. Yeah, but they released him today on his own recognizance. You know what I'm saying? They say he's a, he's been a pillar of the community out there and... The judge said that he's been a stand-up guy and he's done a lot of good stuff in the community, so he ain't like he a flight risk and stuff. So he got a court date, a, a hearing. So we'll see what goes from there. But it's just but he didn't actually hurt nobody or nothing. He just tried to. Nah, nah, that's all that. But he's, he's Richard Sherman. So when you're a superstar, yeah. he played for Absolutely. Seahawks, played for the Forty Nine. He's a football player, cornerback. Y'all know Richard Sherman is. But yeah, when you're a superstar like that, especially black, you already know. Oh, yeah, they're gonna take yeah. out. Of yeah, that, that's you will be exactly anything you can expose. Just that. like uh, Shakara Richardson still with her uh, right with the marijuana, her uh, tested positive marijuana. It was a white uh, runner that tested positive marijuana too. We heard nothing about that. Yeah. Chicago Richardson was all over the front page, every paper, every newspaper, and everything. Every one of them. Yeah. Now, a girl might have got disqualified sure. as well, but y'all didn't plaster her all over the news like every, like y'all did, old girl. Absolutely. And all over ESPN, every other every other color. She's an Olympian too. She might not be Chicago, but she was in, she's obviously good if she's an Olympian. Yeah. <laughs> but you know that's just how it go, man. You know, it is what it is here. You gotta do what okay. you gotta do. You, you know? gotta do what you gotta do. You know. America understanding behind her though. Hey, we love America though, baby. The home of the land of the what? The home of the free, land of the brave. Okay. So they say. Yeah, that's what they say. Next up, we're gonna talk about this uh, living situation. Now, I've been seeing this a lot online too. I don't really get it, but we're gonna discuss it. These uh, mm. a lot of this post has been circulating, percolating, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Says uh, <laughs> if you live together, and the rent is fifteen hundred a month, the utilities. Or three hundred and fifty dollars a month. How much should the man pay? Half. Now, y'all heard Lex hollering about some half. <laughs> now, she'll pay at least half. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's, that, I mean, that's I mean, for man, woman, that's for a real woman. That's how least, I am. Yeah, they should like be at least going half. You my know husband, know I mean? I'll let will them pay. Go first, I, I mortgage thirty three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and now my husband will pay everything in our house, but. I'm not the type to sit back and let him spend not even all his money, but majority of his money on bills. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go half regardless. That's that's just me. Your I don't turn. Yeah, that's just me. Like help your husband out. Have him have some money to buy him some shoes, clothes, go out, whatever. But that's just me. I don't think a man should pay I don't think it's um fair. Fair and a necessity that a man has to pay all the bills. People are fair is a place where pigs are judged. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shot on that. One. <laughs> I don't think it should be like a mandatory for a man to pay all the bills. I mean, if you want to, it's your choice. But I don't think like a woman should be like, "Oh, you gotta pay all the bills because we live together, or you live here, or whatever." That's just. But you so, know what? so if you don't live there, what are you gonna do? What you mean? He gonna pay it. If you don't live in that house, mm -hmm. is he not gonna pay the bills? He is. But if we live there together and both our name is on this lease and on this deed, we gonna pay it together. 
I like it. I honestly nah, okay. nah, nah. My, la- my, my, my lady don't want for nothing. If you, if you, I, 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 take, marry, I take care of it. I don't if want for nothing. I mean, then <laughs> a, a man can be obligated you make. to pay all the bills. See? You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, but nah, if nah. y'all ain't married, a man that ain't your job. That ain't your obligation. Yeah. That's my job. No, I beg. Nah, to I beg to sit at home. Now. I beg uh, to Who says you got to sit at home? Uh, well, actually, I do sit at home and make my money. We both sit at home and make money. If I take care of all the bills and I'm doing everything at home, you can do whatever you want to do. We do. You don't have to worry about this stuff. We do whatever we want because that's what I alleviate all concern. It's not a concern. It's not even a problem. That is a concern. If you're concerned about bills and how bills are going to get paid, that is a concern. We're not concerned about bills. Our bills on auto pay, so we ain't concerned about nothing. We make. I'm talking about you, not no yeah, we. me. The woman. I'm talking about the woman, not no, not no if we. If he left today, I'm talking I about woman. pay all my bills on my own. If yes, today, but you'll still be worried about bills. bills. No, I Just, wouldn't. Because you can pay for them doesn't mean that you don't have to worry about what they're due. I'm not worried about no <laughs> bills. Well, you're I missing the point, Liz. I I'm personally saying. You're missing feel the like point. This. You are worried about them because you gotta get paid. If you're not worried about them, that means you're not gonna think about them at all. I personally you have to think about because they gotta get paid. I, I know yeah, you said they're auto pay, pay, but yeah. I mean, I a lot of people do auto pay. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 you don't say auto pay. A lot of people auto pay. I won't remember. But that's cool. That's cool though. I mean, I understand that. I'm just saying in general, most people, you know, what I'm saying, don't do auto pay. Well, right. I definitely don't do Bring it in. Pay. This is my I ain't doing all the pay. I'm telling you right now. This is my I'll pay you when I get ready. I just all the pay This is my input on it. You're just taking my food. It's as good as this. I don't feel like a man should have to do everything on his own. However, the, even, the bills ain't even $2,000. Stop the madness. However, the bills are $1,800. Every, you can't pay $1,800 bills. You don't need no one. Every woman is different, every household is different, yeah. every view is different. Everybody mm-hmm. is entitled to their own opinion. However, you got to know who you're dealing with, number one. And then number two, you got to be able to say, well, look, you got to come to a common ground before we even move in here. Mm-hmm. I need to know what it is. Set in stone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of times we have expectations that others can't live up to. And then we wonder why we're disappointed. You know? Right. Yeah, you should know Me personally, I would love to have a man in, that yeah. says, hey, baby, I, I got the bills. All I need you to do is do what you do. You know what I'm saying? But even in that, as a woman, I'm going to always make sure I'm saving money. So when my man, my man fall off the day, like I have I said, a man. The bills ain't even $8,000. You should fall be able to pay today, that your damn self. You don't need a woman if you do that. Be a man. That's how I feel Take care of your business and make your woman feel now, secure. I feel like if she move in with you, then pay your, pay your bills. But I feel like you come together on something. Like we bought our crib. Both of our names on this deed. You know what I'm saying? Then it's not even I'm obligated. Even when we was this living together we we bought our house to i mean we had rented our house together i was still mm. going to have or whatever that's just i mean that's just me uh, it's the but mentality if, of the person uh, that's just how man, that's just pay that's the bill ain't no going to have on nothing pay the bill well, well, ain't no have on nothing you man pay the bill y'all need to get like Jason mentioned in if y'all if y'all do like out said, here willing to pay all the bills my lady don't want for nothing i'll leave it all your concern 12 hours. Well, she didn't earn that. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm saying in general. You know saying? It, it ain't even about her specifically. It's in general. You got to earn it. First of all, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you got to be my lady. lady. Yeah, yeah, first yeah. of all, I ain't talking about just something I'm laying that wood to now. Come on now. Come on now. If, I, if I'm just laying that wood to you now, that's different. Can okay, everybody don't deserve it? No, 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 no. You get, you get, your, you get your cheeseburger and you be happy. Okay, and the women yeah, do you deserve your, it don't You get your cheeseburger and you be happy and sit down somewhere. You're right. That's what you get. You know what I'm saying? You're right about that too. You know what I'm saying? Because I've seen men out here, they will, they will. Take a woman through something and then she build that man up, you know what I'm saying? Curse that man. Build him up. Here we go. Here we go with the bullshit. Now. And then build build him up. Stop he the man. Home. Man, he stop. Woman, that's, see, that's the problem the right there. Woman. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't have to build this is a, this is a project. I, I ain't building a man, this is, I ain't gonna build a bear. This ain't Legos. This ain't a project. Facts, though, you shouldn't have to build no man. What kind of shit is that? Like I said, these men are out here. She's out talking about building a man. Look, what kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? I wish I could build a man. Raise a man, bitch. Hey, what kind of shit is that? Either you're a man or you ain't. Either you're a man or you ain't. Come on, you building a man. And if you that is that sad here now? You want a piece of a man? Well, look, that's what you want. A piece of man? Is that? Is, 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 is we want a man. Or this is a pass. Is, 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 is it that hard? I, mean, I think every person have been through some type of mistake. <laughs> approaching the situation <laughs> okay everybody ain't always been match made with somebody perfect now no but, no it don't mean but, that it don't mean but, that but, but, who who ain't, ain't for you? but it ain't like that now 2021 yeah, baby angel is single angel ain't building no bears no men no none of that okay let's put that out there well like I said well I'm a newlywed y'all if the, yes, okay congratulations I'm divorced y'all got a 300 dollar mortgage living big only because <laughs> we decided to do a 15 year instead of a 30 year because oh. of less interest alright <laughs> you're thinking fiscally <laughs> 
If you're not familiar with the word, look it up. <laughs> I'm happily divorced. Shout out to me. I'm just for 2020. It's over. <laughs> Don't. The thrill is gone. Finito. <laughs> the thrill is gone. I Love do don't I live did. here anymore. <laughs> but like I said, if the bills ain't two thousand dollars and you can't pay for it your damn self, you're in the wrong profession. You need to get a side job. I'm gonna be the night janitor. <laughs> if you need to get you a security gig yeah. or what, but you know what's the uh, move these days though. What's the move? Let's trap till it happens. Trap till it happens. <laughs> Not trap till it happens. Yeah. Honestly, streaming. Streaming. Okay. streaming. okay. How do we stream? Talk he to got me. me into streaming like five years ago. Who is he? My husband. He okay. was my husband at the time. He was my best friend, but he had All got right. me into streaming. Shout out to Mary, your best friend. Yes. True love still exists, guys. It definitely, okay. definitely do. It definitely do. We have everything on straight. No chase. You know that. <laughs> okay. I know you heard of apps like Periscope, Tag, Live, mm -hmm. yes. Bego. I tag I did I did all of them, okay. and that's honestly the like I was able I was working for Kelly Connect, which is an at home job, like three years ago, eighteen an hour, got paid every Thursday, and I was unhappy mm. with it, and um he told me to quit, so I'm like fuck it, I quit, mm. and um shout out to the brother Real G, <laughs> that's how you handle business, yeah, so he ended up getting me into streaming, and honestly all I do is sit at home and whether I'm doing my makeup, doing my hair, or just talking to my fans. And I make great money yeah. from it. And then he got me on Twitch. And he taught me how to play video games. So I get paid from doing that. Just being at home. Like, there's so much that people can do at home. They don't even know. Just they getting don't paid off your talent. Mm. Yeah, so like, like, I taught myself how to do makeup, so you know, on YouTube. I taught myself how to do hair on YouTube. Okay, fast. Right, I need to Girl, my, I need my games. What's that? Uh, yeah, the YouTube. Yeah, the YouTuber, games. Ryan. Little boy Ryan is the highest paid See, YouTuber. The baby, like, six. Hit me up. want shirts. Yeah. For fucking reviewing toys. He's the highest paying YouTuber. I'm about to start a YouTube channel. Everybody's Years old. Okay. You know, on yeah. YouTube. Only fans coming so only fans. <laughs> but you seen they about to change hey, OnlyFans? Hey, there it is. You heard it, my man Boogie Band. Tell them again where we are on the live, baby. Bands, aka Cartel Bands, man. That's Subscribe. Z. Oh, Cartel yeah. with a K. And you know we on YouTube, straight no chase of Jesse Mitchell. You already know that. S T R A I T. Literally ain't no chase in here. Ain't no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. We going straight, no, baby. That's how we do it. Straight, baby. Okay. Straight to the point. <laughs> well, <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know, Sharon. I'm up. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going back to Sharon. Sharon, I'm uh, you on my mind, Sharon. We out here. We looking out for you, baby. Standing behind you. But yeah, y'all threw me off with that. Talking about some damn um, <laughs> the bills ain't almost eighty two thousand dollars. So, y'all talking about going half. So you, you, you gonna have your 900, huh? He need, you need, your I'm gonna go ahead and go to You gonna have your 800, we, huh? We need to bring the you're CD your 800, huh? You know they gonna say, he gonna buy me Gucci if I ask for it, and they paying for okay. nothing. <laughs> City girl? Oh no, oh no. Oh, Baby, no. you paying for it too, that? I, I can only imagine what they gonna say, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Yeah, they gon' they gon' they gon' be on here straight no chase for real. Oh yeah, they, 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 they gon' Young Miami, no JT, we need y'all in here. Come on. Yeah, hey. did y'all see that um interview? Same group of girl, no ass hey. in the picture. Hey. Oh, hey. 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 Come on now, no, let me get the ball. Stop <laughs> dropping the balls up in this. Okay. <laughs> He's stupid. He dropped a whole line. Girl, so <laughs> hard. Hey, I gave him to you now, and we go on the break on that baby. <laughs> Not often I let hands touch me, but when I do, I'm touched by me. And that's Straight No Chase. This episode of Straight No Chase was brought to you in part by Touched By Me Massage Therapy. To book your appointment, dial 910-359-2873. It's your time to relax. Cookies look good. Nice smell. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're back. And we're back. And they want the cookies. They ask about the crazy cookies. And we got crazy cookies for you. Help yourself. Go y'all eat. That's what they're here for. Yeah. They ain't here just for the space. They're not here just to look good. I'm going to get me one. I want that one right there. I don't know if I get that one. Help yourselves. Help yourselves. Back and straight, no chase, y'all. Why they eating candy and cookies and stuff, you know? You know, we always bring your uncle just to story time here. Craziest things always happen to me, so you know I always got to tell it. So, the other day... Okay, that's enough from you now. I'm talking now. That's enough. That's been enough. 
ahead. Okay. So the other day, now I had some, I had a little car issues. I had a flat. You know what I mean? So I got twenty fours on my uh, Chrysler three hundred. For those that don't know that. <laughs> So that's gonna come. I'm saying that comes into play here in a minute. So just remember that I have 24s on it now. So custom 24 inch rims. Now they're not the factory. Obviously they don't come with 24 inch rims from the factory. But I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page and understands that. So back to that now. So I have a flat. So my other vehicle actually has. I've been driving my other vehicle around, being lazy, not changing it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just had to sit in the yard. You know what I'm saying? So. My other vehicle just decided they wanted to just, I don't know, I think a computer or something went out next. They just decided that motherfucker just wanted to do all, whatever the hell they wanted to do. So I had to park it, you know what I'm saying? So, boom, I parked it. But now I got this issue because I got the flat. So I'm like, all right, boom. Heights myself up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and change it, you know what I mean? So I'm, 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 I'm feeling lazy and shit. I don't want to change it. <laughs> okay, I don't want to change this tire. But, fuck it, I got to move. Because mm-hmm. now I'm da- I got two whips. Basically new whips I can't move right now <laughs> Just sitting in my yard mm. So I'm like alright So first day I got away with it Because I didn't really need to go nowhere So I was able to kind of like Just chill around the house or Whatever whatever. So now I got I need to move though So I got Alright go out here I get my jack Got my hydraulic jack Slide it Ready? out there Yeah yeah I got my I got my, got my uh my thing to unhook the, the, my bolts. I know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm doing mm-hmm. now. I know because I, I had 20. You know, I had 24s on my Navigator. Mm-hmm. So I've been having to change tires, and you know, you get the flat. I, I was up and down the highway when I was living in New York, back and forth for that. So, you know, I know how to change the tire. They'll say, "Wait, you play me too late." Stick, I can catch that. Wait, you try to slide me in. She tried, she tried to slide me on the low ski, but I catch this at all. Don't think I don't. I wasn't gonna speed by another dress either. But anyway, we're gonna continue with the story. So. I guess ready to jack it up, you know what I'm saying? But you know, you got to loosen the lugs before you jack it up. So I take my center cap off. My damn lug wrench I got don't fit the holes to get into the lugs. Because mm. I tell you, I got, I got the damn same on one. Them? No, I don't have locks on them. Yeah, I do have locks on them. But now I don't have locks on them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know about it. it doesn't mm-hmm. fit into the hole. That's what I'm saying. The actual hole that's into the lug because I got the custom rims. Mm. I got the lug nuts for my regular joints. Mm. But my other rims I had, it worked fine with it because it was big enough. The slot was big enough. This slot is narrow as hell because the way these 24s are designed. Mm. So I can't even get the damn thing in it to take the tire off. Stuck. Okay. Like Chuck. So, okay, boom. So I get the tow, but you know, there's always a way. Call the tow truck. My man come. Shout out T Mac. Can't do, took care of me. Hey. You okay. need a tow service, hit T Mac up. <laughs> I don't have a Zach Zimmer right now, but he's on Facebook. He's T Mac. You can hit him up. Uh, he came through, took care of me, took me up to Black's Tire right here on uh, on Skyville. Now, if you're not familiar with Fayetteville, we live in Fayetteville, North Carolina, 26. And, 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 and if you're not familiar with Fayetteville, there's three pretty much main roads in Fayetteville. You have Rayford Road, you have Ramsey Street, yes. which run parallel, and then you have Skyville, which runs in between from end to end. We talked about the main road. So now, Black's Tire I had my car taken to is on Skyville Road. So we pulled up to Black's. He dropped my stuff off. They thinking that, I mean, I don't have uh, a lock. Mm. So the guy, apparently the guy, he had a master lock set. They had a different, a different bunch of different keys for rims. He quit uh, three days ago before I, pulled, before I come up there with a tire. Right. Mm. So. Okay. <laughs> so, if you ain't got it, you so, ain't doing nothing. So they come running out like, yo, no, don't even drop it because we can't do nothing. Yeah. So I'm like, yep. nah, I don't have no locks. I'm good on that. I just can't get it into the damn thing. So he like, oh, okay, bet. You good. Now, I'm going to send my man out here to take care of you. All right, cool. So he drops it right there. He sends the black dude out. The black dude comes out with the jack and the thing. He talking to me or whatever. We chopping it up about whatever, just shooting the shit. So he changing my tire. He get ready to change my tire. So as he's getting ready to change my tire, he jacks it up. You know what I mean? Like, he's not, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, he finna change the tire. So as he changes the tire, now, this is the wild shit now. Dude pulls up out of off Skybo with a damn in a truck with a grill on the back of it. On the back? On the back <laughs> of the truck. Now it's a grill. And I'm talking about the damn uh like the smoker grill. Smoking grill. Like like big the big old, old big school old like looking yeah. grill. And it's on. It's cooking. As he pulls <laughs> into the parking lot. What? Oh, a grill grill. He's That's got a grill. Grill. Like a grill of a car. No. Like no. A grill. And then when he said no. a smoker, I said okay. No, 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 no. A grill so cooking what, food he meat. He pulled in riding. He pulled what in. With the shit smoking and smoke coming out, it's, it's on, cooking. Hot food on wheels. Pulled fresh off a of okay. skyboard now. He pulled fresh off a of skyboard oh now. Oh my god. Yeah, 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 man. Shit, I got these ribs and shit, man. I'm selling, <laughs> man. What's up, man? 
So, okay. I don't so, want that bad. Real talk, real talk. So me and my man looking at him, we like, so I'm like, yo, is the grill on? <laughs> and he like, yeah, 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 that's how I roll. I'm, I'm cooking them now. So, okay. Damn. So my man like, well, shit. <laughs> so my man like, well, shit. What you got? You know what I'm saying? He said, I got them ribs. I got that mac and cheese. I got, you know what I'm saying? He telling everyone whatever he got. You know what I'm saying? So no. I'm looking. You know, I'm like, I like to support a brother. You know what I mean? I ain't really that yeah. hungry. You know what I'm saying? I gotta eat it. And I, I ain't really a big it. rib guy, but I'll eat a rib or something. I did that You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. cool. You know what I'm saying? I might buy something from the brother showing some love. Yeah. So my man, like, well, shit, how much you charge? He said, I just want like a rib or something. So he's like, man, shit. I just throw you a rib, like, off the face, man. Shit. You need to go ahead and get one of these plates. So my man said, so how much to play? He said, he played $20. Uh, I know exactly who that was. I ain't going to say no name. Hold up. <laughs> $20. Play $20. Now you just told the man he's going to get him the rib. The man course for fucking free. So you going to charge him $20 for sides? Okay. Right. So I walked oh, off at that point. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That makes sense. So I walked off at hey. that point. So I was like, nah, I didn't know. I went not have no parts of that. <laughs> yeah, you ain't even, what are you talking about? You talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So my man's kind of like thrown to he like uh nah but yeah I don't know yeah you wild now I'm good on that <laughs> you know what I'm saying so he's like man you know I'm just trying to get right man you know how it go but you know what I'm saying so he like well shit and now on the back of the grill it's got this thing it says CNC catering or CNC grilling or some shit on the back of the grill it's a little sign that's probably about that long like a street sign <laughs> yeah. kind of like it's on the back of the sign that said and it got a number on so my man like well shit. I'm going to check you later. You know what I'm saying? I'll get with you later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. I know uh, what that means. In other words. <laughs> well, I mean, right now, he's like, he good right now. You know what I'm saying? He like, right now, later on, you know what I'm saying? I, I hit you. I might, I might, I might, I might, see you. I might want to spend oh, that 20 yeah. later. But right now, he's trying to spend that 20. Yeah. That's the way he was saying. You know what I mean? So he like, well, I'm going to get it to you later. I'll hit you up. You know what I'm saying? He told us, no, no, that ain't my number. This ain't even my grill. <laughs> Got your money. What? What did he did? Like, yo, he's like, yo, I'm just trying to make some bread, some quick bread right now. So I'm like, what the fuck, you just stole somebody's grill? Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? You riding down yeah. the with a grill cooking, talking about that ain't even your grill. That ain't my number, that ain't my business. What? Okay. Well, I don't want that. Yo, who do you belong to? Uh, yo, yeah. so dude looking at me and dude looking at each other like, what the fuck is going on here? I'm like, bro, I don't know. I don't know what's happening here, yo. Okay. What the fuck is going on? So then he gives him a free rib. And he's like, yeah, all right, yeah, I'm, I'll keep it greasy. I'm getting up out of here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he hops up in there, hopped in the shit and pulled off and hit back, went back on Skype with the shit still cooking and smoking. Crazy. That oh, is a hazard, bro. I promise you. He get ready to kill somebody. He's still the grill in the truck. Huh? Did he steal the gear, grill in the truck? I apparently. I, At this point. I assume so. He be continue. Right. I don't know what the like. <laughs> It fucked me up because that shit wasn't his. Well, damn, This ain't my sign. This ain't my yeah. truck. Okay. I'm just man. trying to make some quick that cash. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make... <laughs> so you just stole somebody's grill and truck? Are you riding around cooking? Trying to, trying to make money on the move like that? <laughs> damn. <laughs> Detroit to Fayetteville. <laughs> Yo. But dude finally Lord. changed my tire. After all that went on, and I <laughs> rolled off. Well. That was crazy. <laughs> this ain't even my truck. This ain't... What? This ain't even my truck. This ain't Yo. my grill. Okay. <laughs> After he tried to charge the man twenty dollars for sides, you, you should have known him on his truck and his rear. <laughs> he charged twenty dollars for a plate. He that threw me right there when he said it. Plate. Yeah, yeah. Plate. Uh, the size yeah. I'm getting. Okay, what's on that? Plate? Like, well, you I'm pulled up on us, food. and now I you talking about some? Um, my food, right? Now you talking about some twenty dollars for the plate, and you just told him he's gonna give him a free rib. That is funny. How many ribs? Now is the rib not the main course? Man, how many sides coming on there? I'm just saying, if you, I don't want that much macaroni. Okay. Up. <laughs> nah, I'm like, I'm a okay. <laughs> hey, he said you paying for the He like a mad ass kid in the Don't give me no more. Don't give me no more. That shit is funny. What kind of shit is that, man? <laughs> I don't want that much macaroni. What the hell? <laughs> Not that much. I got $10. Dog. You take the leave. What? That's it. If that. You know, he, he, my man just wanted a rib. Like they got old. Good plate off the grill, I'll pay up to about 12. You know what I'm saying? 12, 12, I mean, nah. food ain't yeah. cheap. Yeah, brother, food support, ain't cheap now. Support the brother. I'll spend 10, you know 15, what which is yeah, what, brother. I, I, but damn, you're talking about $20. And you said it's I not mean, your grill or your truck. <laughs> I mean, yeah. a dessert he and a drink on top of this plate. I don't want nothing. <laughs> I don't know who made it. Yeah. 
I, and, and, oh, and no dessert was offered either. But Fanny be twenty dollars. There was no, there was, there was, there was no dessert that's offered. So it's the funniest exactly. But Fanny twenty dollars. <laughs> Mind you, to pull them to the damn blacks, oh, the black star shop. Trying to sell. <laughs> we in the parking lot of black star shop. You talking twenty dollars a plate? You riding down Skyboat with a grill? Cooking. I'm talking about steaming. <laughs> I'm talking about smoking, Smoke. and steaming. <laughs> right down, right down, Skyboat. About to kill everybody. I'm too so weak. <laughs> That is the funniest story I heard. Wide open. <laughs> I say, Lord Jesus, have mercy. Why you pull at the shop, though? You see the 24s and just was like, yeah, they got Oh, he got money, money over he there. Got, that's his oh, money. He, got, he got, got some money. money. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm going to make it. We all make it. He had to lie like, yeah, look at the chain in the water. Yeah, let me right. go. Right. Okay. Let me go oh, I didn't have all that on there. I was chilling. I was on a mission. I wasn't doing all that. The haircut alone tells us. Uh, <laughs> it was other people up there too. It wasn't just me. Fool. No, he saw you in your car. Yeah, <laughs> it was other people up there too. Oh, yeah. He sure oh, pulled him over there though. But that bitch, oh no, that thing was steaming though. Oh, them rims could afford his plate. <laughs> yeah, I'm, and I'm busting for twenty. I'm gonna get that dub yeah, about him too. Yeah. I need yeah. a truck. I need a truck. <laughs> God, <laughs> that's the way he was acting. <laughs> hey, this ain't my shit. No fucking way. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Too long. That's all I need. I would have took the damn grill and truck at that point. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what to say at that point. When he said that, I just looked like. I mean, a two for 20. Huh? <laughs> $20. And then, well, like I said, I checked out when he said $20. I was done then. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, no, hell no. You crazy. You lost your damn Two mind. for the dub or something. The hell is you talking about? Right. Yeah. You know the hell are you talking about $20 for a plate? Okay. What? Yeah. You ain't uh, Uncle Ben. Okay. You ain't a damn. Who you think you is? Dub music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't you make up. rice? Oh, yeah. 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 We're going to thank my brother Boogie Bands for coming yes. in today. Already. As always, where everybody, where everybody can uh, reach your music, let everybody know your platform and all that. On YouTube, Boogie Bands, a.k.a. Cartel Bands. That's Bands with a Z, Cartel okay. with a K. Not a S. Yes. And a K. You, you heard it. Said. You know what I'm saying? Instagram, Boogie Bands 2-6. The beautiful Miss Lex with all that booty. <laughs> you can catch me on Instagram. I am Lexi, period. I am period L E X X I underscore my YouTube L E X music. Serious by the I am period. Period. Put the periods up in there and the underscore. Don't you cannot the forget them. Okay. L <laughs> E X music with two eyes on YouTube. And I mean L E X on you or else any of the platforms Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere. Okay, okay. And stay tuned. Next week, we're supposed to have a rapper Kane coming in. He's supposed to be here this week. He has an issue, though. So next week, hopefully, we'll see if we get him in. Yes. But if not, we got some other artists coming as well. So, you know, stay tuned to us. As always, I am the innovator, the emancipator, the originator, Jesse Mitchell. And this has been Straight No Chase. Stay tuned. This episode of Straight No Chase was brought to you in part by Big Chief's Food Truck. To order your plate or book for your next large event, dial 910-224-7248.